Hi, I'm Randy Price. Welcome to the video series, Building a Tenor Guitar at MikeMcClain.com. In the last video, I glued the fretboard to the guitar neck. And to clamp the fretboard onto the neck, I used a piece of inner tube, and I've just taken that inner tube off the neck, and I'll show you what that looks like. So there's the guitar neck and the fretboard. I got a little bit of glue squeeze out on the side, which is no big deal. I can clean that off. But this inner tube idea worked really well for gluing the fretboard on. I got real good consistent clamping pressure clear across the fretboard, and it looks great. So I'll just do a little bit more sanding to clean that glue off. I still have more work to do on the fretboard, but I'm not going to do anything with that right now. What I'd like to do next is to uh, connect the neck to the guitar body. And the reason that I would like to do that is I just want to do a, a test. I have not put the guitar back on yet, and I would like to get the back glued on, but I'm really concerned about being able to reach through the sound hole and and get that neck bolted on. So while I still have the back off and I can reach inside here to uh, work with the bolts, I'll just uh, do a test bolting of the neck to make sure that I can do that through this hole before I glue the back on. It's been a while since we looked at this neck um, where it fastens to the guitar so so I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, the neck is, is held on by little bolts and a kind of a cross, cross nut that goes into the guitar neck. You can see there's a hole going through the guitar neck this way and then there's also a hole in it here. So this cross nut slides. I'm going to have to clean that one out. There's a little glue. I've got one fit in the bottom hole right here. So this bolt. Fastens in there like that. So the bolt goes through, through this piece in the front end of the guitar and fits in there and that bolts it on. As I said, there must be a little bit of glue in this hole because the cross bolt won't fit in there, so I'll clean that out. And I can even see in, in this, this hole there's a little bit of glue, so I'll get a, a drill bit, clean that out, and then be able to bolt the neck to the guitar. Okay, the, the drill bit. Even, even turning it by hand seemed a little bit too aggressive uh, for cleaning out this hole. Um, what was in that hole was a little bit of epoxy. When I laminated this neck together, I used, used the epoxy to glue it. And, and the drill bit wanted to really remove more wood than it did epoxy, so I just used this rat tile, rat tail file to clean out the hole, and I was able to get that cross bolt put in there just fine. Next I'll put this on here and I can't reach back in there to that hole. So I'm going to have to use an Allen wrench to do that. And this is kind of what concerns me. Putting it back on. Trying to find the trying to find that hole reaching through the sound hole of the guitar. Just put a piece of uh, masking tape on the end of my Allen wrench that gives it enough friction to hold that screw straight. So I'll see if I can maneuver that 
into the hole. Okay, I've got the screw through there, but it's not. I feel like it's. Right into the nut. Part of my trouble too is I haven't cut my um, fretboard off to the final length and it's actually sticking over the sound hole just a little bit. So that's causing me trouble. I'm going to give up and try it from this side. Okay, the bottom one started. This is exactly the reason that I did not put the back on yet. I want to be sure I'm able to get these bolts started once the back is in place. Um, I did have to end up drilling Drilling that hole out that I thought I could just file out. There turned out there was just a little bit of epoxy left in that hole, um, which didn't allow the screw to align straight with the cross nut inside the neck. Once I got that cleaned out, it went in fine. So I'm just snugging up the second bolt here. There's the neck attached to the body. Although the neck does bolt to the body, I'll also be gluing the fretboard to the top of the guitar. So it is a semi-permanent attachment once, once I do that in order to re remove the neck in the future. I would have to steam this joint to get the glue off or actually go in with a, a spatula or a, a thin blade and work this fretboard loose from the top so I hope I never have to do that but the fretboard does need to be attached to the guitar top eventually you'll notice under here that the heel of the neck extends past the bottom of the guitar I will need to trim the heel off flush with the bottom of the guitar speaking of the bottom here it is in the next video I'll be gluing the bottom on, but before I glue the bottom on, I need to trim the top flush with the sides. If you can see here, the top is overhanging the sides a little bit in some places. So in the next video I'll show you how to, how to do this. I'll just go around and, and trim this flush with the sides. I need to do that because I'll be using a combination of clamps and my uh, inner tube clamp to glue the back on and in order to do that I'll be wrapping this inner tube around the guitar. If I don't trim these edges off flush it will actually break, break the edge of the top off. This soundboard's spruce. It's very soft wood. You can see the grain's running this way, so if I tried to stretch that inner tube over the edge of this, it would just break that right off. So that does need to be flush before I glue the back on. That kind of gives you an idea of what the guitar looks like. It's actually starting to take shape. It's pretty nice. Very happy with the progress so far. So next time, I'll be trimming the top flush with the sides. I'll remove this neck and glue the back on. After that, we're getting down to the, to the home stretch. I need to um, shape the, the bridge and the saddle. And I also need to install the nut at this end and also install the tuners. I have not ordered the nut 
or the tuners yet. So I'll get those ordered soon so we don't have too much delay in the building, but we're, we're really getting close. So that's about it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to watch for the next video.